Who doesn't love a good cup of coffee? And I'm no exception. I love a good cup of coffee. 50% of the time I grind, grind my beans. 50% of the time I do. The other 50% of the time, I buy ground coffee. But, but when I do grind my own beans, I try to buy selective, good quality coffee beans. Uh, so, do you like coffee? Do you grind your own, your own beans 50% of the time like I do? And I use spring water. I did not use this nasty Kingsport City water in Kingsport City, Tennessee, because Eastman Chemical Company dumps all kind of chemicals into the Houston River, which, which is illegal, but they can get away with it, but me and you can't. So I use spring water. It's windy. It's a good day. It's sunny. It's a good day for a nice cup of coffee. Let's go do that. Let's go make us a good cup of coffee. If you drink coffee, what brand of coffee do you drink? Leave it in the comments. Do you grind your own beans sometime like I do? Leave it in the comments. Sometimes, probably about 50% of the time I drink it black. 25% of the time I drink it with black and cream. Creamer. And then if I use creamer, I use half and half Lando Lakes. It's great. And also, uh, Coffee Mate has half and half, but that is hard to find. I, I seem to like Lando Lakes better. It's 100% real cream. It's great. And when it's creamer, half and half, they strip the water out of the milk. That's how they get the half and half. Anyway, which makes it a little bit sweeter. Anyway, but it is great taste. And I can just sit there and drink it by itself. I have Lando Lakes in the fridge, you know, where you got to keep refrigerated. It look like a you know, cardboard container, like a milk carton. And I have Lando Lakes in little bitty cups. All right. Let's go to the utility room and let's brew some coffee. Let's grind some beans and let's brew some coffee. For starters, you want good quality coffee, but good quality coffee beans. And that's what I have here with this San Francisco Bay coffee. A Rogers family company, 100% Colombian coffee. They have like four, five, six different uh, types. And on the back, it tells you all about it. They're out of California. It's been family owned. It uh, says right here on the end. Hold on one second. Let's find out right here. Now, I bought this. It was completely full. It was a huge bag about two and a half weeks ago. And I have ground them beans all the way down almost to where I've only got quarter a uh, quarter percent of the bag left. It, it says on the front of the bag, established 1979. San Francisco Bay uh coffee company a rogers family 1979 established on the side around here it tells you they over 20 years your support talking about buying these uh, their products has donated more than 10 billion 10 million coffee uh to coffee beans to farmers also on the side it says for over 20 years your support of our products has allowed us to donate oh, more than 10 million coffee beans to farmers build and start 12 community medical centers start 63 schools construct 1700 housing complexes and i said it said 10 million coffee beans it says 10 million coffee trees let me get that right trees t-r-e-e-s all right well first thing we want to do my friends is start with some fresh water and what kind i'm going to use today I use usually two kind of spring waters, Deer Park and Cumberland Gap, which comes out of Cumberland Gap, uh, you know, park right here, in, which is in like three states, the Cumberland Gap Park. Right, that's uh, And Cumberland Gap Waters by the Coca-Cola Company. This is Deer Park. It's, so I use Deer Park, which tastes very great. Now let's do this. First thing you want to do is pour your water into the uh, coffee brewer, coffee maker. Fill it up so you get an adequate amount which will make a large cup of coffee. Second thing we gotta do is take these coffee beans, place it in this Krupp's coffee grinder, and let's grind away. And, and what I do is I go ahead and grind enough, because I drink several cups a day, I will pour enough in this Krupp's coffee grinder to last me the rest of the day. Let's do that. It's pretty much, I fill it almost completely up. There we go, about a half a cup of beans. Roll, fold it back over 
and put uh, some kind of clips on it. And if you notice, I've got, I've got two metal clips like this used for chips or from coffee. And I only cut one edge of the coffee bag, so when I fold it over, the only thing you got to really clip is this right here. See, I've only cut one edge. All right, well, let's grind these beans. And before I grind these beans, what would I like to say? These coffee beans smell heavenly. These coffee beans smell heavenly delicious. Look at the quality of these beans. I'm going to have to go inside and cut the air off. The air conditioner just cut on, so it will not, not be making a lot of noise in my video. But these coffee beans smell heavenly delicious. You smell the, the, the flavor just by sniffing it. It smells like pure heaven. Heavenly delicious. They roast it to perfection, it smells like. All right. This air conditioner just cut on, so I'm going inside and knock this off temporarily, and I'll be back. So it will not interfere with my video. Right here on the big old show. Let's place the lid back on top of this coffee grinder. Easy peasy. Prups. Paid $13 for this at Walmart about three years ago. Now they're like 18. You know how everything's went up. To grind this, all you do is push this little black lever on the front of this top. Right here. Watch this. It's just like magic. And you just want to grind the beans a medium grind. You do not want, you just want to grind your uh, beans to a medium ground coffee. You do not want to grind it until it's very powdery because medium grinds always will hold the moisture, uh, will still leave some moisture, more moisture after you have ground it, especially if you're going to sort a coffee. And it will taste better. It always does, medium grind. Not, do not grind it till it's like powder. And you see a lot of products like that when you buy them. They, uh, in the bags, even Folgers is a little bit towards a, even a little bit ground too much. And Folgers is one of my favorite coffees. This comes ground. That's a medium grind. It's not, it's ground, but it's not super powdery. It's a medium grind. It's still got some coarse thickness to it. Now, if you don't want to grind it till it's like powdery, you got to know when to stop. That's, I ground that just slightly more than I normally would, but it's still uh, on the medium side. If you, grind, if you keep grinding, you'll get nothing. See, it's still decently coarse. You'll get it, and it will be just like baby powder. So do not over-grind the coffee beans. Key, key number one is have good coffee. Key number two is to use quality spring water. And key number, number three is when you grind your coffee as your coffee grinder, do not grind it too long. You don't want it to be like baby powder. All right, let's put this... Let's open this up. This is a Farberware coffee brewer. You can put ground coffee in here, or it also has another little uh, plastic cup that you can put K cups in here. But today we have ground our own coffee. We're not doing K cups. And K cups never taste as good as freshly ground coffee to me, or coffee that's already ground from the store in the bay. It's the K cups tend to be dry. Trust me, I drink coffee a lot. But I will drink K cups if, if, uh, but I do not prefer K-Cups over freshly ground coffee or over ground coffee from the store. <clears throat> but K-Cups are convenient. It's the only time I use K-Cups. All right, well, let's do this. Let's put it in here. And uh, we will brew this coffee. And, of course, this San Francisco, San Francisco Bay coffee that I have bought is Colombian style. It's from Colombia, South America, a country in South America. All right, let's get to it. And this is this is how I place the coffee in this little coffee filter. I take the let me unplug it first. I unplug the grinder. And I pour it just like this right here. Real slow. Really slow. Not real, really slow. So you do not spill any coffee. Get it right there and just pour it slow until you get the desired amount. And if you don't want to do it that way and take a risk of spilling any, do it like this. Number two, take a spoon and you can spoon it out and shout. That's what I'm about. One. I want about one and a half te teaspoons. I don't know. The more coffee you put in here, the stronger the coffee will be. And this is a 16 ounce cup. So I want about one and a half teaspoons. 
it's a medium this is a medium roast coffee I, if you put more it will make it taste like a dark roast and bitter so the key is to put the right amount let's do it one and a half teaspoons to this san francisco bay coffee colombian version one and a half teaspoons to 16 ounces of water is the way i roll all righty let's place it in here just like magic number four five place your cup here and i'm going to i might first i will taste it without any sugar without any creamer and i think today i'm just going to drink it black but i just brought this out here to show you i use this right here which is great uh sugar domino and lando lakes a full a box never been opened 24 this is like 229 224 at walmart not bad for 24. i like to buy the 48 packs because you can get 48 for like uh 479 but they didn't have it so i had to go for the 24 pack for two for about 249 it's 247 249 and i have two left over from another container all right well let's place the spoon away from the grinder and the key, shake this like this, gets the coffee rounds down, place your top back on there. I will pour it into something later. And I really prefer to use a spoon because if you don't, see, you will spill a little bit of coffee rinds. No big deal. The reason I come out to a utility room, I have a six year old daughter and she can get very noisy. You know, do not want to stand over here in the super bright sunlight. Not right now anyway. The wind's blowing things around, so I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, since the coffee is in the coffee container right here, close this lid up. Place this wherever, this right here, this drain tray can be adjustable to whatever size cup you need it to hold. Mine, 16 ounce should go about right there. 22 ounce large cup down here. I go in the center with this 16 ounce cup. No, I don't dip snug. Place it right here. Go over here and select 16 ounces. But the key, the thing about this is, this uh coffee barberware coffee brewer coffee station you can only get six ounces eight ounces ten ounces and twelve ounces i mean six six eight ten twelve fourteen let's go for the fourteen ounce i think if i'm not mistaken this is a 16 ounce cup if i'm not mistaken of course it usually tells you on the bottom uh says j16 so it's a 16 ounce cup i should never doubt my brains all right select, select with the top button you select the ounces push the bottom k cup in the center after you select the ounces if it was k cup you'd push the center but it's not k cup so we're going to push the bottom ground coffee it's just like magic do 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 magic on a sunny day magic on a sunny day that coffee is brewing oh that coffee is brewing it's just like magic on a sunny day that coffee is brewing that coffee is brewing i smell that coffee and it smells so so good this brewing Hot, steaming, delicious brewing coffee smells so good in the neighborhood. That's what I'm talking about. Can you smell what your boy, the big O, is brewing from your neck of the woods? Seriously, my friends, that's the real question. Can you smell what your boy, the big O, is brewing from your neck of the woods? I can smell it. Well, the coffee's brewing. See it? Can you look at the steam coming off of it? That's what I'm talking about. See the steam? And over here on the side is your water tank where you pour your water when you take this cover off up here. You can see it, it was up here, up right in here. Now the water's all the way down to here. Because as it brews, it takes this water, cold water, cool water, and turns it into hot water. It sends it over the coffee grinds, ground, the ground coffee, and it goes down into the cup. Now what I'm talking about. Steam, steam, steam. Man, that coffee smells good. It smells off the chain. As my black buddies in Atlanta used to say, it smells off the chain. All right. 
Let's do it like Nike. It's time for a taste test. Let's step out into the... When I walked outside from the darkness of the movie house into the bright sunlight, I had two things on my mind. Paul Newman and a ride home. That's the opening line to the book, The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. All right, let's get on to coffee review. I read that book. I saw the movie when it came out in 1983. All right, went to the movies in Atlanta and saw it, Ben Hill Theaters. All right, smell test. It smells like a balanced coffee. I'm getting like a nutty, a chest, almost like a chestnut smell to the coffee. It's like roasted chestnuts, which smells good. You can smell a little bit of acid. That you smell a little bit of bitterness, bitterness smell to the coffee. Maybe slightly acidic. Smells well balanced. Well, the main thing, how does it taste? Let's get out of the sunlight. Let's walk around here. The sunlight will ruin your footage on a bright, bright day. I'm using my GoPro Hero, GoPro Hero 11 Black, 4, 5K, 60 frames per second. ISO is set at 800, but it is super sunny, super windy. Hear those spinners spin, 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 chicken dinner. Spin, spin, I'm a winner. The sun's still beating on my face. But long as I'm pointing the camera this way, I should be fine. Let's do that taste test. Tastes like pure heaven. Tastes like heaven in the cup. It tastes like heaven in the cup. The wind's blowing, so I hope it doesn't mess up my GoPro footage with my Hero 11 Black Mini. It tastes great. It's a, it's a medium bodied coffee. Not too heavy, not too thick on the palate or the tongue. I get a chestnut taste, not roasted chestnuts, which tastes great. I give this coffee an eight, an eight out of 10. It's aromatic, it smells great. It smells like roasted chestnuts. It smells like a cup of heaven. It smells like heaven in a cup. I bought some fancy coffee cups inside the house. They're thick paper cups with plastic lids, uh, made in the USA. Dark, they're dark cups. This is a dark cup. D A R T, made in USA. I give this coffee. I'm gonna have to up it. I give it a nine out of ten. I'd say it's not the best, but it sure is quite close. Now, if y'all will remember correctly, about six months ago, give or take, I did a review on the Charleston Roaster. The Charleston Roasting, Charleston Roaster Coffee. From, uh, it's uh, certified organic by Clemson University out of South Carolina. The Charleston Roaster Coffee. Coffee. I did a review on the, you know, the regular brand uh, blend, the medium blend, and it's, it's organic. It was whole coffee beans. I said roasted coffee. It's Charleston, uh, Charleston Coffee Roasters. What was that's the name of the company? Whatever. But I, buy, I bought the whole beans. Oh man, it was good. I gave it a 10. This gets a 9. It's very close to that Charleston Roaster coffee. But this gets a, a 9. It's great. Well, I mean, perfect. Perfect. You don't need no cream. You don't need no sugar. I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee on this windy, windy, on this windy, sunny day. The wind's blowing. Hope you hear my big mouth. Because I got the biggest mouth in the south. Just smell it. Can you smell what your boy, the big O, is drinking from your neck of the woods? Now that's what I'm talking about. I love everybody. Be happy. Be positive. Be focused. Be energetic. Dramatic. Persuasive. Articulate. Egotistical. Be bold. Be courageous. Walk like you're on the world if you are a YouTube blogger. Walk like you're on the world because it's a free world in the United States. We can do what we want to do as long as it's within the confines of the law. And 
be happy with others and focus. Stay away from negative people. Always try to do the right thing. And I will see you all, you all, on down the road. Mm-mm-mm.